I'm, I just thought I'll come on because I'm actually making a Manchester tart. And no funny comments, right? But I'm making a Manchester tart. And I thought, I'm not going to show you how to make it and everything. But I thought what I will do. That's the Manchester tart, if you can see it. Now, Manchester's where I live. Well, near Manchester. And we used to have that when we was at school, when we was kids. Do you remember anybody that's northern? And what it consists of is some pastry, sweet pastry, and then it's got a layer of jam at the bottom, and then it's got a layer of custard, and then it's got a layer of coconut. That's it. So, anyway, that's, that's what I'm making while I'm chatting. I'll just might as well have a chat to you. I know while, I was, while, I was, while I'm making this, I'm just doing a bit of rubbing in method at the minute. Rubby da rubby rubby. Are you, are you hanging in there? I mean, we've done a week now, haven't we? done a week of um, staying in I mean to me to be honest with you apart from not going metal detecting and work it's pretty much like my normal life to be honest because I don't really like shopping I only go late at night which I still have been doing and there's no need to queue if you go late at night there's nobody in there so I've been going late at night like normal and then I've been sitting around in the house on my own like normal and um, but I think it's given me you know being able to be set on my own quite a lot has given me the skills to not be bored you see because I'm used to entertaining myself which is it's coming handy now isn't it I mean I never thought sitting on my own and, and you know entertaining myself would ever come as a skill but it has maybe over the next few weeks I can share some of them because it is going to get bad now I could tell it was bad today because me and Diggy have been out for our our walk and it was a bit like a zombie pop a, a zombie pop a, that thing on zombie pop a cop a lip. You know what I mean? I can't say it. There was nobody in the on the road. There was nobody driving around. I mean, it was cold, so all the fair weather walkers that don't bother going out, I don't think. But it was just silent, and it was weird. And I was walking around in the silence, and there was no traffic, and even the birds didn't seem to be singing. And then you know what I heard? A flaming ice cream van. I mean, is that essential in an ice cream van? Is it? I mean, all the problems an ice cream can could cause. Because one, he's not going to, you know, is he going to have a little sticker telling the kids to stay two metres apart? And I'm quite sure he ain't taking um, cashless money. Is he? Hey, scream van. Well, there it is. Oh. So I'm just, I'm just on the pastry bit at the minute. So I'm just going to, I'll be back when I've rolled it out and finished it off. It's a bit crumbly, this pastry, because I've put sugar and stuff in it, which I don't usually do, and it's a bit crumbly, but it'll be right, won't it? But I thought I'd show you this top tip. Top tip. Now, if you've got a pastry like that, you've got it quite thin, and you want to get it in your tin. If you put your rolling pin on the side there, and then even, even crumbly rubbish like this, you can roll it around, look, roll, 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 and then, oops, it's still there as well, I don't know what's happened to it, and you can get your, your tin thing, come on, please, please work, please work, I know it's a bit scruffy around the edge, I can have to piece a bit of that up on it, I don't know why it's gone like that, anyway, um, <laughs> I don't know why it's gone a bit a bit wrong, but I'll just piece it up round the edge, it'll be fine, won't it? Oh, it's a bit sharp there, isn't it? It's stabbed, it's, it's that thin and, and I think it's it's gone like that because it's going to be super tasty. I think that's what it is, so anyway, what I'll have to do now is, um, it's alright, there's always a plan B. I'm just going to squash a bit all around the sides. Be alright, won't it? There you go, see? Just like Gordon Ramsay. Now while I'm waiting for that to cook, you know what I can do, don't you? You can do this at home if you want. You see that 
that's what you can do while you're waiting for the pastry to cook. Probably not quite as conventional as what you do in your kitchen, but it works for me. I've got to make the custard bit next. Now, I was going to use a tin of custard, but I thought, no, if I'm going to make it, make it proper. And I thought, I'll just pour myself a bit of gin while I'm at it. <laughs> Life's always better with gin. Anyway, I don't, I've never made proper custard before like this. So what am I looking for? My glasses. Oh, 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 wait a minute. I want a bit more of this. Oh, I'm here, is I've got, um, I don't know what this is. McQueen's Forest Fruit Gin. And I only bought it because it had a nice picture on the bottle. That's why I bought that. And then I'm, I'm, I've got this from it. Uh, Belvoir Elderflower Press watery wine stuff I don't, I don't know what it, it's not alcoholic that but that yeah they go really nice together then forest fruits fruit forest fruits and elderflower gonna be alcoholic at the end of this 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 thing yeah aren't we never mind never mind don't matter does it don't have to get up for work or anything anyway i'm getting distracted from the custard it's custard right so what does it say it said on the recipe, do it twice as thick as normal pouring custard. Pint of milk. Oh, it looks a bit complicated. Measure a pint of milk, add a little of it, approximately two tablespoons, to the pan and stir to form a paste. But it's, ah, two tablespoons of custard powder with two tablespoons of sugar. Now it said on the recipe, double up so do I double up on the sugar as well I might as well on that I'll, 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 I'll just do it anyway do you have sugar right pint of milk luckily it's date's not gone off on it but that's because I don't stop you see because I'm sensible right what do I need now jug jug where, where do I keep my jugs where's my jugs Oh, I think it's in this, I think it's in here behind my camera. I'm gone. Right, did you have a look at my scruffy garden then? I mean, it might look scruffy to you, but if you'd have seen it last week, you couldn't even see out there, it was a jungle. Right, everything's cooled down now. Now you've got to put in raspberry jam. It has to be raspberry. You can actually put some raspberries in there if you want. But um, you're going to blob raspberry jam along the bottom. Quite a lot, actually. And do the... I'm still singing, Barry Manilow. I hope they don't block it. I've speeded it up as a case of you try and block it. Probably will, won't they? Well, never mind. Mm -hmm. Oh, I bet you're wanting a piece of this, aren't you? I'm just gonna. I think it serves eight. This pie. It said the recipe serves eight. Eight. I don't like to think how many calories is in it, but. I'll save it and then when I go out digging again, I'm going to take everybody a piece of Manchester tart. Because I like to take cakes and that to me digs. They say, do you want a, do you want a cake? Do you want a cake? Right, I think, that, I think that's enough. Yeah, I think that's enough, isn't it? I don't really know what I'm doing here, you know. I'm just, I'm just trying to remember from school, but it was quite a long time ago, that. About ten years. <laughs> I'm a bit worried about this custard. It don't look thick enough. Look, it, that's supposed to be solid. Is it going to go solid if it goes in the fridge? I don't want to wreck it. I'm going to put double the amount in. Do we just tip a bit more custard powder in? Will that make it go thicker? Dicky, you get down. Cause Dicky's trying to get some. You see him? What do you want? Do you want some pie? Do you want some Manchester tart? Oh yeah, here he said, yeah he does. Tough. Oh, what do I do now? Don't look, look. That's not thick enough, is it? Oh. 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 Well, I'm just
just shoved a few more spoonfuls of bird's powder in it. I mean, I think when it sets, it'll be all right. Oh, I hope it don't go wrong this now after all this. You do it, it does say set in the fridge for two hours, so it makes me think. Right, I'm just going for it, right. I'm going to tip that over there like that. Oh, hey, hey, look at that. Oh, hmm. There's no coconut. Oh, don't tell me I haven't got any coconut. Oh. Can't believe it. It's gone wrong at the last minute. I thought this was coconut and it, it's almond flour. I was supposed to put coconut on the top of that. Oh, I've been making it for ages as well. Oh no, I don't even think there's anything else. I've got. Oh, I've got no chance of finding any coconut now over at the co-op. I haven't even got any cherries either. So it's not even a Manchester tart. It'll have to be a Rochdale tart. <laughs> I'm watching, no comments. Oh, I'm, I'm, I'm slightly gutted. Hang on, I'm going to have to look at my cupboards. Take it, got none. Right, well, that's going to have to be it then. It's it's uh, going to have to be a Rochdale tart with no coconut because I haven't got any. Anyway, I'll eat it after and I'll uh, let you know tomorrow what it's like. But tomorrow I'm going to give you proper tips on how to keep yourself sane. Now, um, you might think I might not know that but I do I do know how to keep yourself sane so tomorrow a little video on things you can do to keep yourself sane while you start at home isolating so till then diggity dig 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 d